Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, we're on location in downtown Pittsburgh, back at 11 Stanwick Street, the offices of the Allegheny Conference on Community Development, which co-produces this program. The conference is a nonprofit, private sector leadership organization that works to improve the economy and the quality of life across 10 counties in southwestern Pennsylvania. One of the keys to quality of life is access to affordable housing. Today we'll introduce you to our region's financial wholesaler, the Federal Home Loan Bank Pittsburgh, and its 25-year-old program to make housing more affordable here. Plus, we'll learn more about our region's unwelcome national attention for opiate addiction and find out what employers can do to help stem drug abuse. But first, tis the season to visit downtown Pittsburgh. From light up night through Thanksgiving all the way through first night, the events calendar is jam-packed. I'm here to share what's already happening and what's in store are Jeremy Waldrop, President and CEO of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, and Craig Davis, President and CEO of Visit Pittsburgh. And welcome, good to have you both here. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, so Jeremy, you're already off and running, light up night, now Thanksgiving, and, and, and more to come. Right? That's right, we had a successful 55th annual light up night celebration. 55th anniversary. 55 wow. years and counting, and then we just had big Black Friday shopping event and Small Business Saturday. So it's been a fantastic week to kick off the holiday season and we're looking for a whole lot more. Yeah, this is really a friends and family time, I would assume, a lot of folks back home visiting this time of year. It is, downtown Pittsburgh is steeped in holiday traditions that have gone back for generations. So everything from the, the Macy's windows, which we brought back this year, uh, to just coming down and seeing the sites, the cultural institutions uh, have a jam-packed uh, host of shows throughout the cultural district and then of course the dining scene is fantastic in downtown so people are just down all times uh, on nights and weekends enjoying the, cel the celebratory spirit. Yeah, and, and Craig uh, obviously Visit Pittsburgh really focuses on getting people from all over the place to consider visiting Pittsburgh. This kind of thing has to make your job an awful lot easier. Oh it does. You know from our standpoint Visit Pittsburgh owns nothing so what we do is we sell and market that which other people design and, and introduce. So. Jeremy and the PDP have done a wonderful job of, of making our job easier, bringing in people from the outside, because you're just not going to visit or spend your money in some place that is not unique. So this is certainly something worth coming down for, and we capitalize on. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's interesting you talk about unique, because I was walking through Market Square recently, and I don't know how many restaurants have opened in downtown Pittsburgh or in that area in recent years, but it seems to be a lot, and a lot of them are really unique, it, you know. They really are. They have kind of taken this whole craft food, craft cocktail, local food movement to the next level. And a lot of it started here in downtown. I know I've been in Pittsburgh for four years now, and that's when Meat and Potatoes opened. And they, these are one of the old guys on the block now when you think about uh, the, restaurant, the new restaurant scene in downtown Pittsburgh. And they have kind of challenged uh, chefs who have been in downtown for 15 years to think more boldly about their menu. Um, and we're really excited about the progression that we've seen in the dining scene in downtown, and that's supporting the vibrancy of the city, um, and, and we couldn't be more thrilled to be in the position to promote all the great things that we have going on in downtown. You know, it becomes a night out for people now, um, not only for people that live within the region, but it is a cause for people to get in their car or on a plane and come in and check it out because it is uniquely different than, than the places that they're living in now. Yeah, the other thing that I used to start a few years ago was this holiday market in, in Market Square. And, and right. people are willing to go out in the cold into Market Square uh, to, to go shopping. How has that grown and, and what's, what's new with it this year? We have just seen uh, about 200 to 300,000 people come into the holiday market a year. So 200 to 300,000 yeah, people shopping in Market Square. It's become wow. such a great anchor destination for downtown and it supports all the local retailers. We have um, a ton of information about the retail businesses. There's over 100 small businesses in downtown that are selling their wares throughout the year. So we use this holiday market to um, kind of get folks down here and then we have a whole host of activities. We have free trolley rides, free horse-drawn carriage rides, uh, kids play this year. 
uh, which is partner in, in partnership with the Cultural Trust and MetLife. We have free movies, free crafts. Um, it's just a, a great opportunity to get down and explore the city and, and using the holiday market as a big anchor for that. We have 30 vendors in the market this year, many of them selling goods that you're not going to find anywhere else in the region, a lot of them from uh, European countries. Um, it's been this destination and now folks are, are telling their friends and their neighbors and their families and, and as, uh, as families are getting together for the season, they're like, let's go downtown, let's get our picture in front of one of the nine Christmas trees that we have down here. So it's, it's a spectacular thing that we're really pleased about. And it's really exciting. And Craig, it caps what's been a great year for visitors to, to the region in general and not just to downtown. Right? I've been in this marketplace for 23 years and I've never seen a year that like 2015 will end up by being. Already we're pacing ahead of last year, which was a record year. And the things that we, we do to say those things, uh, in for the, the information that we draw from hotel stays, economic impact, it's all spiking this year. Hmm. And that's despite lots of construction of hotels and everything else. We see the yeah. occupancy rate seems to be strong. It, we it seem is. to be supporting all of this. Right? You know, we measure ourselves against a lot of other similar cities and we're still in the very top, top tier under all the things that we measure. And um, for us, all the new build that's coming in is doing nothing but enhancing the region. Hmm. So it's great news for us. Okay, what's the, uh, give you, give you one, no, one, one, one don't miss between now and the end of the year people should think about, John. I think don't miss kids play. As a father of three young kids, it's a very uh, excellent opportunity to bring down your kids, your neighbor's kids. Everything is absolutely free. We have free movies, free horse-drawn carriage rides, uh, music in the Market Square stage. Um, every day of the week and all through the weekends. It's just a fantastic time to get down here. And if you're not in the holiday spirit yet, this will certainly help get you in the mood. That'll do it. Well, we love that word free. So hopefully people <laughs> will respond. Jeremy Waldrop from the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, Craig Davis from Visit Pittsburgh. Thank you both so much. Thanks. Thanks. And next up, we go behind the scenes in banking to learn about the financial wholesaler who helps to make housing more affordable around here. Stay with us.